Hello boys and girls, my name is HotzelC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft where last time we ended with a bit of a derpy situation. Can you see it? Well, covering the, the, the trench that we uh, did with uh, half slabs pretty much negates the usefulness uh, of the bridges which we also built so yeah there is that but today we want to turn our attention to something else uh, we have some loose redstone ends here so we need to connect that up to there but then we also have to connect the requesting system um, with uh, this monstrosity here uh, but we also have to uh, hook it up to the thing over at the smelter and over there uh, it gets a bit more complicated um, because there we have to figure out um, if we want to smelt do we need stone for it cobblestone so that because the the stone the cobblestone request from here does not come directly um, is basically an indirect request uh, mainly uh, if we uh, see we do not have enough stone smelted to uh, fulfill the request then we need to smelt some stone so there will probably be some redstone here but let's start with uh, the easy thing first and just hook up some redstone lines. Redstone line is in and it does not look that pretty but it does not have to be and it goes over to the cobblestone uh, machine hooking up there and then I have also connected up the two output signals here not as nice as well but eventually this will be all on the ground and this line this is basically the uh, redstone line going to all the uh, uh, forms requesting the system and the only thing I think can break it is if we get a signal uh, out of that and we encode that signal in the length of the redstone signal and if we would get one signal or one item request and then shortly afterwards another item request then those two signals could overlap and uh, produce something else um, and this signal this will go around our base kind of uh, like in a loop and uh, that's also one reason why over here for the request for our uh, bone meal we have a, a slightly different approach where we have one line per form because we would have to encode one form uh, for for each for each line and that would make things a bit too complicated with combined to all the other things but over here at our uh, furnace array things might be a bit more complicated because here we get in requests for uh, 
stone or smooth stone um, and we can get the, the signals uh, out here um, but we might not have enough stored in here of said variety uh, which means in order to fulfill this quest uh, we have to uh, hook up the furnace array and smelt some more and that then especially for the smooth stone can mean okay I want to deliver one chalk box of smooth stone so let's take out one chalk box of stone Ooh, I don't have a chalk box okay I need to smelt stone first and that basically queues up uh, the the things that we have to do over here and we have basically to remember what we have to do and uh, what we have to send out so I do have some ideas how to do that um, that let me try that out before I show you. I'm squeezed in here because I did place a bit of redstone. Uh, so uh, let me let me get out of this situation and have a look. We have one wire going in here. This is for decoding and then deciding do we have to deliver uh, stone or smooth stone? Uh, however, the connection from here to the delivery system is not done yet. But what I've also uh, did is uh, the hook up the encoder for... Uh, we need more cobblestone in here to smelt and hook that up. So what we do have here then is uh, a double power line, uh, one for each direction and they both hook up to, uh, to the thing here and the, I, I would not say clever bit, but the, the, the cool thing here is that the incoming line hooks up there at the bottom and then goes out to our cobble generator. And the outgoing line takes the signal from the top and can go over there. So basically here we have a nice node to deal with that. And along the way, of course, we have to make sure that we are not losing the signal uh, because we are running out of strength. But I was thinking of adding a bit more to this system. Uh, mainly what we need then over there is a, is a way to uh, one, detect that we do not have enough shulka boxes of one material and that we should smelt more. And two, uh, if we are low on stone, that we should uh, send out the request for cobble. And we do have uh, these kind of systems in place over there with the, with the bone meal farm. Um, so it's, it's not really... Uh, something new that I have to, to come up with but it's just a bit more work than I currently have time for. So in order to get this video out to you I think uh, we will close here and uh, pick up right there for the next one. Until then goodbye!